way of stocking caps and various grease. If you is modern, you use Duke Grease's hair for me. Jojo was modern. An international nigga. Born January 1st, 1863 in New York, Mississippi. His mama was more militant than he was, is. Jojo B's no instant Negro. His development took all of 106 years and he was first to be stamped, made in USA. Where he arrived, bow-legged, a curve ahead of the 20th century's newest weapon, television, which invented how to win and influence people and gave Jojo his however look, however you want me. We discovered that with the right brand of cigarettes, that one with his best girl could skip through grassy fields in living color and in slow motion. Caution, niggas, cigarette smoking will kill you and your health. And that the breakfast of champions is black eyed peas and rice. And that God is dead and Jesus is black and last seen on 63rd Street in a gold and black dashiki sitting in a pink hall speaking Swahili with a pig Latin accent. And that integration and coalition are synonymous. And that the only thing that really mattered was who could get the highest on the least or how to expand and break one's mind. In the coming world, new prizes are to be given. We ran the danger course. Now it's a silent walk, a careful eye. Jojo is there. To his mother, he is unknown. She accepted with a new look. What would you do if someone loved you? Jojo is back. And he'll catch all the new Jojos as they wander in and out. And with a fan-like whisper say, You ain't no tourist. And Harlem ain't for sightseeing, brother. and there'll be no scratch. Study yourself. Watch your every movement as you skip throughout the south side of Chicago. Be hip to your actions. Our dreams. Our dreams are realities traveling the nature way. We meet them at the apex of their utmost meaning means we walk in cleanliness. We walk in cleanliness down State Street, our Fifth Avenue, and wicked apartment buildings shake as their windows announce our presence as we jump into the interior and cut the day's evil away. We walk in cleanliness. The newness of it all becomes us. Our women listen to us and learn. We teach our children through our actions. We will become owners of the new world. The new world. We'll run it as unowners. We will live in it too. And we'll want to be remembered as real people. We walk the way of the new world. The new world. New world. 